Hi students, this chapter is called Atoms and Molecules. As you must have heard, all substances on this earth are made up of tiny atoms and molecules. We will learn a lot more about them in this chapter. We will also learn what exactly a molecule is, what different atomic theories say, what Dalton's atomic laws are, what a mole is and so many other interesting things. Let's proceed with atoms and molecules. Now we will start learning, you know, about atoms and molecules by first learning the different laws that govern the interactions between atoms and molecules. The first important law that we will talk about is the law of conservation of mass. This law will help us understand all chemical reactions that occur between atoms and molecules. What does the law of conservation of mass state? It states that in any chemical reaction, the net mass of the reactants is equal to the net mass of the products. Let us verify this by conducting an experiment in the laboratory. You can actually conduct this experiment. Take a weighing balance, something like this, and place it on a table. Now on the weighing balance, place a beaker that has 50 grams of copper sulphate. The weighing balance will now read 50 grams, isn't it? Because the copper sulphate weighs 50 grams. Now carefully insert a test tube that has sodium carbonate in it, you know, sodium carbonate solution. And put that test tube inside the beaker, something like this. If the weight of the sodium carbonate in the test tube is 50 grams, then the mass balance now shows the total weight as 100 grams, isn't it? So what do we have in our arrangement? We have a beaker that has copper sulphate in it. We have a test tube that has sodium carbonate in it. Sodium carbonate and copper sulphate together weigh 100 grams. We now close the lid of the beaker, something like this. We put a cork over it. Now, currently sodium carbonate and copper sulphate are not reacting because sodium carbonate is in its own test tube and copper sulphate is in its own beaker. They are separated from each other. Give this whole mixture a shake, something like this. When you do that, a reaction occurs. You can see that some reaction is occurring. If you perform this experiment in the laboratory, you will see that green precipitates will be formed. These green precipitates are precipitates of copper carbonate. You see sodium carbonate reacts with copper sulphate to form sodium sulphate and copper carbonate. Sodium sulphate is soluble in water but copper carbonate precipitates out and forms green precipitates. The interesting thing is that the total mass of this entire reaction mixture still is 100 grams. If you observe carefully the mass showed by the mass balance did not change. This tells us that no matter what reaction takes place. The mass of the reactants is always equal to the mass of the products. Understood? So this is very important. It's called the law of conservation of mass. Let's now move on and learn a second law that will help us understand the combination of atoms and molecules. This law is called the law of constant proportions.